At Comp Cams, we never stop striving to bring you the absolute latest in Valtrain technology. In layman's terms, Comp Cams Low Shock technology is a way we design a camshaft profile to load the system slightly before we accelerate the valve off the seat. The idea behind this is not to shock the spring, not to create bad harmonics, to allow us to do more throughout the valve motion event. 20, 30 years ago, valve springs weren't nearly as good as they are today. And famous racers like Bob Glidden, even Jack Roush, they would take camshafts and if it accidentally got made with the master on backwards, sometimes that would run better. These camshafts had something like today's low shock. So what we've gone back is reinvestigated what we were doing in the 80s and 90s, but improving upon it and trying to come up with a real, real sophisticated way of loading the valve train before we accelerated aggressively off the seat. We're able to take what we've learned from the Spintron and really highly optimize where in the ramp does it need to be slow and where in the ramp can it be extremely fast. If you think about a pole vaulter running up and trying to jam his pole into the pit and throw himself over the, over the bar, that's how old cam designs work to an extent. Now the thing is, we used to think that the most we could squeeze the bottom of a lobe and the most we could expand the top of the lobe, the more power we'd have. And that generally worked. But what we're learning now is it's not both sides that do this equally. The closing side really needs that area and it really needs that squeezing. But on the opening side, right as the valve starts to open, there's not a lot of air moving. So what we're trying to do is learn how to take care of our valve spring on the opening side so we can maximize the area later once we build up air speed and are really filling the cylinder. Whether you're racing in NHRA top fuel, whether you're in a pro mod, whether you're in a turbo outlaw car, no matter what the application, there are no performance drawbacks to slowly opening the valve at the very beginning of the motion. The reason being is near top dead center, there's almost no air going through from the exhaust to the intake. What we're really trying to do is create a pressure wave to initiate that airflow movement. I'm a little bit more southern than northern, but if you think about somebody building a snowball, building a snowman, at the very top of the hill when they start rolling the ball, you have to start that ball rolling to make the big snowball at the bottom of the hill to wipe out your friends. But that ball isn't very big at the beginning. Very much the same way, on a low shock technology, we need to crack the door and get everything go open, but we don't have to have the, open, the door open huge to get the snowball because at the very beginning, top dead center, small snowball. When comp cams developed the LST type profiles, we actually started not thinking about durability. We started thinking about performance. The whole idea was if we can come off the seat a little bit smoother, if we can get a little bit better performance out of the valve spring, then we can do some things to get more air involved. Now what we kind of didn't expect when we first did it was that that would actually increase durability. In some professional drag racing classes where they were only getting six to eight passes out of a spring, some of the same customers all of a sudden called back and said, hey, we got 20, 20 passes on that valve spring. We got 30 passes on that valve spring. If there's one thing to take away from low shock technology, it's not power or durability, it's power and durability. By slowly putting in the force on the valve train system before we open the valve, we don't shock the valve spring, we get more area on the backside, we better fill the cylinder, all while putting less stress and giving better durability from the entire system. You know, the low shock technology has been a year long, or actually multi year long, drive to learn how to get the most power out of your current LS package. So we're just trying to make sure that people understand this isn't just another camshaft, this isn't rebranded, this isn't repackaged, but it's a totally new way of designing a low profile.